What are the pros and cons of being a digital entrepreneur? Yeah, that's a that's a good question. Um, Sky is the limit in terms of the money you can earn. The main one is really around sort of having freedom, right? So you can live anywhere in the world. It can also be really lonely, you know. You I often work uh, nighttime, long hours. Uh, everything's on your shoulders. Um, Let me think about the other cons. Um, and also, of course, there's no guaranteed salary all the time, so that's uh, another challenge that that comes in. My name is Paolo, I'm an Italian content and creator currently living in Bangkok. I work online, probably just like you, and the reason is simple. I want to be financially independent and have a control over my life. I talk with Ricky, he's a very nice guy and sport events planner. My name is Ricky Van Rensburg, I am from Cape Town, South Africa, and I've been a digital entrepreneur for over a year now. And with Ruben, he's an expert of e-learning and online trading. And I ask them, why did you guys start your online business? It's an interesting question. I've you know, never worked in the digital space um, through, throughout my career. Um, and then I, there was a problem I was trying to solve and it just wasn't possible to solve it on the same scale, um, you know, not being digital. Yeah, so I always, first of all, I always wanted to have my, my own business. Like this is something I always wanted since like, I was a teenager. And at some point in my life, I, I took a decision to just focus on this uh, entirely. And um, and then of course the COVID pandemic hit which kind of forced everybody and including myself online a lot more and that uh, opened up the door to become a digital entrepreneur and um, yeah it's been an interesting experience and definitely one of the best things I've, I've ever done. Passion from entrepreneurship in general and then matching this with the digital world uh, and that's how, how I started. Let's think about this for a second. How many people do you know? that ever really made it in this lifestyle? I'll take a guess, and I say, not so many. By the way, what is your opinion about? Feel free to leave a comment, it's very important that you share your opinion. What are the pros and cons of being a digital entrepreneur? Let's start with the cons first. Yeah. Uh, this, the cons of being a digital entrepreneur are, are big. Um, you know, of course, there's no security. You kind of, uh, everything's on your shoulders. Um, and so there's a, a big risk that's being taken. That's part of the excitement as well, but it's, uh, you know, definitely something that you wake up thinking about every day. Well, the disadvantages are that um, you have to rely on your own. Of course, you know, from a uh, anxiety and stress perspective, you know, worrying about things like money, worrying about whether you're making the right decisions, um, you know, those all creep in a lot. Having a lot of freedom at the same time, uh, it can be dangerous if you don't know how to control it. Um, but from a digital entrepreneur perspective, you know, another thing is kind of having that support system and finding that support system um, that you just don't get, uh, you know, as a digital entrepreneur. You need to go and seek that out. You need to go to networking events. You need to work in co-working spaces. You need to actually make that effort to go out. And that can sometimes be tough um, and require a lot of energy. So probably the most difficult part is that you have to, you have to be really discipline in creating your own schedule, your own structure, because there's no one telling you, you know, what to do. And also, of course, there's no guaranteed salary all the time, so that's uh, another challenge that, that comes in. Being a digital entrepreneur, it's not a guarantee of success. It's easy to fail. No one cares about your genius idea. It's very common to work late night and the weekends if necessary. Unfortunately, many entrepreneurs want to give up. Money is not enough, that's the fact, and you feel poor, every day poor. What are the pros at this point? Um, look, there's a lot of pros um, that exist. The main one is really around sort of having freedom, right? So being able to kind of work anywhere at any time. Uh, so that's uh, definitely something that I enjoy. I, I like that kind of having that sort of freedom. So basically, if you have a laptop, and you know you want to open in a cafe and start working obviously you can do that it's not my typical um, routine uh, i usually try to stick in, in one place to have kind of my 
you know, like a regular place where, where to work. But if I have to go somewhere, uh, moving around and working, sure, you can do that. It's incredibly rewarding once you once you start earning your first your first dollars and getting them in the bank. And so I think that's uh, yeah, definitely one of the reasons that that I enjoy being a digital entrepreneur. Um, and you can learn you can earn as much as you want if you're good at it. Um, the other thing is, it's really allowed me to meet a lot of new people. You know, you sort of forced you, you're working very solo, working very on your own, um, and so it's forced me to get out, meet new people, um, and find other like-minded entrepreneurs who can help educate me. You know, we can learn from each other, and I think that's been incredibly uh, rewarding part of the process. Having an online business is an incredible opportunity, and anyone can join this promising adventure. Keep in mind. Before achieving success, you need to have a winning mindset. Otherwise, <laughs> things can really get complicated, especially if you're a foreigner or expat and you live abroad. Trust me. Life in Thailand as a digital entrepreneur, I think it's pretty great. It's one of the country where you know, most digital entrepreneurs um, at least used to come before the pandemic. Yeah, well, um, look, life in Thailand is great in general. Um, if, you've, if you've ever spent any time here, you'll know we've got some great weather, great food, nice people. Lifestyle, generally speaking, is cheaper than other parts of the world. And yeah, I think um, all in all, it's just, a, it's just nice to be in a, in a happy, sunny uh, environment most of the time. There is an excellent quote from Gandhi that sticks in my mind and it perfectly applies for those I am to be a digital entrepreneur. First, people ignore you and then they laugh at you and then they fight you and then you win. Basically, you should never give up. You got the message. Being a digital entrepreneur, it's not easy as it sounds like. The truth is being a digital entrepreneur, it's hard, risky, and it's not for everyone. Got it? <laughs>